She said, oh my God, Nathan, I haven't seen you for ages. Are you still singing? What are you doing? She said, I thought you were dead. I'm like, okay. I got into a program called the Talent Development Project, which is funded through the education department, um, where they you go in twice a month and they give you pointers on your performance. Yeah. Well, I, at the time, I didn't have an agent. So they called me uh, after I left. I was only 18 at the time. And they said, Nathan, with some auditions going down at the ABC studios uh, for a new kids show looking for five presenters, singers, dancers, actors. I went, okay. So I went down there, did the audition. They put us into five groups of five. And then they put us, our combination, so myself, Tim, Charlie, Kelly, Kathleen, into into this, you know, into this group. And our voices just gelled. Like everything, the harmonies, everything was just, you know, it was one of those big moments. And they said, that's our group. I actually knew Kathleen uh, since I was about 12. Um, we did shows together back in the early days. She was two years older than me, but we, uh, we did a shopping center show together for Christmas. So I knew Kathleen and her family. And then when we got put together, she was like, it was already established that she was like my older sister anyway. Uh, the other guys I had never met before. But as I said, we're, we're all very young and we, uh, you know, you have your ups and down days. We were like a family. It was, it was busy. I mean, it was exhausting at the same time. Um, I think there's not a lot of groups in the world that actually do the TV thing, but also do the recording, also go and visit the, the, the children's hospitals that also um, uh, have no time. You know, we, we were teenagers, we were, we were loving the ride, but it was long hours. I mean, we were filming, uh, was it two and a half days a week rehearsing the rest of the week. Um, our scripts were about this thick per week as well. It wasn't We, we didn't have um, auto cue. We had to learn our, our, our scripts for our segments. Then after that, we toured for seven months of the year doing three one and a half hour shows a day, six days a week around Australia, Asia, New Zealand, um, the whole of the UK, we, we toured over there. So it was, it was a lot of hard work. I mean, there was a couple of times there that I, I nearly ended up in hospital just from exhaustion. I was, I was buggered, you know, so even though we were young, we were still working so, so hard. I guess I can speak on a majority for all of us. It wasn't just about the music, it wasn't just about the touring, it was about giving back to these kids, especially when we went to the children's hospitals. Like, um, there was this one time we went and saw this little girl, I think she had, she was, you know, she was pretty s severely sick. She had a couple of weeks to live. And we walked in and the, she, was, she was in bed. Her mother was standing beside her bed and she looked up and she smiled at us. And I'm getting chills already. Um, and the mother started crying and she says, that's the first time my daughter's actually smiled in a couple of years. And we're like, all of us just went Phew. And it made you put things into perspective that it wasn't just a pop group. We were out there to make a difference and changing lives at the same time. And that really, you know, it was a, it was, it was a heartfelt, horrible moment, but it was also beautiful at the same time, knowing this little girl, we've actually given something to this little girl who didn't have a long time to, to be on this earth. I've, I've got a two and a half year old now, and I'm <laughs> first time in my life watching kids shows. I'm like, oh my God, so this, I can't watch this. But I think High Five had that special combination of having a parent they could sit down and have a bit of a laugh as well at things we said or the music was very pop orientated lyrically it was for the kids but obviously musically and, and melodically in the way that was produced it was it was a pop it was primarily just pop music you could play it on radio obviously without the lyrics no not at all I mean uh, we, the funny thing is we were asked that question a lot back in the day and I was like, well, no, I mean, if you look in the adult world of music, there's thousands of people out there competing, there's thousands of people on radio and, and, and on television. So there was only a handful of us in Australia, you know, the Wiggles, Hooli Dooleys, High Five. I mean, that was pretty much it. I had my moment, I had my time. Obviously, I, I missed doing the show, but after 10 years, it kind of got to the point where I'm like, yeah, I want to go back to my roots, go back to what I do. What you saw on TV on, on High Five, minus the colourful clothing, <laughs> was, was generally me. Like, I, I've, I've always had lots of energy. I've always been a singer, dancer, actor. It's what I've always done. So just the music's changed, I guess. So it's still me, but it's just putting me into a different chapter of my life, a different chapter of my entertainment and career. Just to be part of something that was iconic, um, part of something that touched many people's lives and, and that, are, that, are, that are still very much a part of people's lives now. I believe that if a show is special enough or it has 
a beautiful message or it was, it was strong musically like ours was, it, it, it is something that will live on. I mean, obviously it will date eventually over time uh, in the fashion and then it may come back, you never know. Um, but I think if you're a part of something so special and so iconic, it's going to stay with people for a long time. And I'm very grateful and very privileged to be a part of that journey and be part of the lives and, and upbringing of you know, kids around the world, for, for that matter. Oh, we stay in contact now and again. Obviously, we're, we're all in different states of Australia now, so and we've all got our own lives and, and our own journeys and our own goals. So now and again, we, we put a phone call in and, and say good day, or, you know, send a text message to see how everyone's doing. But um, yeah, I mean, we, 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 we all love each other, you know. I mean, obviously, it's a very hard thing to say when you, you see rock bands out there and you say, oh, this person hates this person. But we never, we never hated each other. Obviously, we were just like brothers and sisters. And um, yeah, we have such a respect for each other even today, you know, and we all have that one thing in common that we, we shared, you know, something special together and that will, that will never die. This girl came to me and she was in her early 20s. She said, oh my God, Nathan, I haven't seen you for ages. Are you still singing? What are you doing? And she said, I thought you were dead. I'm like, okay, all right, no worries. I said, I'm not, I'm not old. She says, no, no, I didn't mean it that way. She said, I just, I just haven't seen you around. I said, well, I'm not on TV every day. You know, obviously I'm doing more, more music side of things these days. And I've got to be able to uh, record my brand new album, which comes out in September. Uh, yeah, and uh, a couple of music videos too. Actually, two of the singles are already out now, She Devil and Hurricane, but there's another couple coming out um, over the next couple of months. And it's rocking, man. Like it's 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 so cool. Like it's 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 not following any trends, but it's got pop, rock, soul, dance. It's got everything. It's just a very sexy kind of album. Very different from High Five, um, <laughs> but it's something for everybody. Like. I know that it's uh, going to be across the board and across the genres and across the different age groups. Everyone's going to really, really love it. And I can't wait to share it with everybody. Listen out, Spotify, iTunes, maybe even vinyl, but also come along to the gigs too. November onwards, I'll be on tour as well. So I'd love to see you guys then. You never know, I might even throw a little uh, high five cover in there as well. We'll see how I feel. <laughs>